We have been discussing baptism this week, and baptism is something that unfortunately can really mess some people up when it comes to the local church. Where did baptism come from? Well, we actually have this from the Bible. We use John the Baptist baptizing Jesus as the example, which is the example that we're using today. Some people feel it's for the remission of sins. There's really nowhere in the Bible where it shares that. Some people feel that baptism is for infants and children. There's nowhere that shares that as well. Some people feel the Holy Spirit comes upon baptism, and there's really nowhere that it shares that also. If we look at the word though, the word does mean immersed. Baptizo or baptismo actually means immersed, and it was first found in the English language used in a pickle recipe of all things. The cucumber was actually baptizo or baptismoed in the water. It was submerged in the water to be used in the pickling process. But what's interesting is that term throughout the Bible is used as baptism or baptized everywhere except for two places. And one of those is right before Jesus is going to have dinner with the sinners. And the Pharisees wanted to know why wasn't he baptized before he ate with them? Yet that's not how we read it. How we read it is why didn't Jesus choose to wash before he ate with the sinners? And yet everywhere else in the Bible it is translated as baptized. And yet if we did that, then that means we'd be baptized before every single meal. And as you can see, if it wasn't interpreted in those two instances, it can be a source of contention throughout. And guess what? It still is. We're not going to be baptized before we have dinner, just as Jesus was not baptized before he had dinner. But as this word indicates, it does show that baptism is by immersion. It is an immersion that takes place. It is the same example that Jesus showed us when he was baptized by John the Baptist. There's still one last thing that we have to look at tomorrow.